Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn how you can push the code from your local Git repository to the remote repository, which is on GitHub. So GitHub, we have already understood in the previous tutorial that it is a Git repository hosting service. Along with that, there are a lot of many collaboration features available, right? So we have pushed our code into our local Git repository. Now let's see how we can basically sign up for GitHub and create a repository on GitHub and then push the code that is there on our local Git repository. So these are the files that we have been working with. This is say for example, our dummy code or project code that we want to push on the remote repository so that other team members, if they want, can also get that code and start working and collaborating. Okay. So the first thing is basically to sign up for the GitHub account. So go to github.com and click on sign up, right? Or you provide the email address for with which you want to sign up and then start the sign up process. So say for example, I'll simply, I've already signed up. So I will just show you the process, how the overall process will look like, but uh, it is pretty simple. It's it's sort of a signing up for a social media account, right? So just provide the username, right? Click on sign up for GitHub and then it will start the sign up process basically, right? So we'll continue with this particular email and choose the password click on continue and the username, right? So I have to specify the username. So this username is already taken as I have already signed up. So I'll just change it to one, right? And I'll, and if you want to receive the product updates, simply choose yes or no, no, and click on continue. Then it will ask for the puzzle. So please note that this display or the process that I am showing you might not remain exactly same screen might change. So just, just follow the process as updated screen show. Okay. So I'll start the puzzle here and select the spiral galaxy. So click on create account. And this is pretty much it to create the account. Now, once the account has been created, it will send you the code on your registered email and you have to provide the code and process or progress further. Okay. So let me pause the video, enter the code and I'll move next. So once the code has been entered, you will be redirected to this particular page. So you can just select just me, how many team members for team members. I'm just pushing the code myself. So I'll just choose just me. And I'm a teacher. I'll select the teacher and click on continue and you can skip personalization as well. But what specific features are you interested in? I will simply skip this particular, but uh, skip this page or you can choose. I'm more interested in to CI CD and collaborative coding. You can choose all others as well. I do a lot of project management work as well. So and team administration. So I'll choose all of that and click on continue and then you will get this option of free or the other options, right? So free is good enough because you get unlimited public private repositories, the action minutes per month, etc. So we'll just continue for free. And once it is signed up, it will in initialize the dashboard. So this is the dashboard that you will see. It might change in future, but this is basically overall the core functionality should remain still same. The option that you need to search for on the dashboard is create repository button. So create either create repository from here or if you'll see the plus icon here, right? Just drop down and click on new repository. So it will open the new repository or create repository option, right? So this is, this is my username and I will simply just enter the repository name, right? So I'll say GitHub demo as the repository name. And in order to enter the name, keep it simple, lowercase separated by hyphen as suggested by GitHub as well. It's easy to remember those. And in the description, I'll simply, you can provide the description. It is optional, but it's good to provide the description of the repository, what exactly it is all about. So I will simply say this is demo repo. Okay. And in the public and private, basically public repositories, anyone can see over the internet and you can choose who can commit to that particular repository, but private, you can choose who can see that particular repository or commit to that repository. I'll keep it public. Okay. And then click on create repository. These initialize options I'll cover later. So click on create repository. And once the repository has been created, you will be redirected to this particular page. Now, because this particular repository is the repository hosted on GitHub, these are the commands that usually you will be doing or following for the first check-in into the repository, right? So if you'll see that in the previous tutorial, we have already initialized the repository on our local computer. 
then we have added the file we have committed the file we have committed a couple of times right after changing the file then we want to push the repository we want to push the existing code that is there on the local repository into this remote repository right so after we created the repository repository this is the url for the repository okay so to push the code this is the second step that we are more interested in because these steps you have already done right we haven't changed the branch name so by default if we go to this particular folder this is the project that we have been working git hyphen demo so if we start git bash here expand it and i say git status you will see i have changed it to main okay so initially by default it is the master branch so if you want to change it to the main branch you just simply have to fire this particular command let me copy and change it to master so instead of main i will change it to master so in the last tutorial we had git branch name as master right so if you'll see if you'll say git status again you'll see that we are on the branch master now in order to push the code that we have on the local repository to the remote repository which is github hyphen demo what we need to do is we first need to do this particular command right so push an existing repository from the command line so we'll simply say git remote add origin and the name of the remote repository where we want to push right so this is the location of the remote repository so we'll simply copy that command and paste and hit enter and once this particular command is successful the next step is to change the branch name right so they are recommending to change it to the master so we'll simply follow that so we'll simply say git branch and i'll say git branch hyphen m and change the branch name to main right so we'll say git status again and you will see now we are on the main branch right so we are on the main branch now the next thing to push the code is git push hyphen u origin main right so we'll simply copy that command paste it and run the command and once you'll run this particular command you will see that this particular connect to github pop-up appears okay so you can simply sign in with your browser okay or the personal access token so now with the recent updates so if you simply close it right so i'll simply close it you will see that the username window appears okay so let's try to not authenticate with the browser we'll just try to authenticate using the username okay so the username that we use to sign up so we'll just provide the username and then it will ask for the password enter the password and then you will see that there is some error okay so let's read out what the error is so basically support for the password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 so this is the recent change so we have to use this personal access token instead okay now we have to first create the personal access token from the github account and then use it so to create the personal access token what we need to do is we simply need to basically go to our profile right so on the github go to the right hand side and go to settings and in the settings you will be here in the developer settings okay now in the developer settings you will get this personal access tokens right now here we we can create a new token so i'll click on generate new token okay and then you can specify the expiration uh, or expiration for this particular token when will this token expire so basically let me you know leave it as default 30 days and then what this token will be used for okay so i'll say uh, check in code okay now the scope of this particular token what exactly the scope is you can define the personal token scope etc so full control of the private repositories that's if, if you want that you can check that the whole thing right and then basically you know whatever access you are requiring you can select that and then click on generate token okay so let me basically uncheck this and i haven't selected any of the scope for this particular token and we'll be using this token to check in and see that the check-in happens perfectly fine so let me generate the token i'll pause the video and then use this token to log in okay so once your token has been generated you make sure that you copy it right because you won't be able to see it again okay so otherwise you have to generate the token again so i have copied the token now let's fire the command the push origin command again and we want to push this particular code and then we can paste the personal access token that has been generated okay so 
I'll just paste the token here and sign in. And you will see that it has denied. So what the issue is, the request URL return 403. Okay, so the reason is because I haven't selected any of the details or the permission at the repository level. Okay, so let's go back and create a new token with the repo access. What all we can do with that particular access token, right? So this is the thing that we have to figure out. So we'll go to the repo again and let me revoke all and I will confirm RCV Academy. So you have to provide your username and then revoke the token. We'll generate the new token and code check-in. So this was not the issue previously. So previously it used to ask for username and password and we used to provide username and password and check in the code very easily. But now with the recent changes, we have to create these tokens to do the check-in. So we'll simply select the repo, right? And then update Git action workflow. I'll select the right and then read right. So usually this should be fine so i think just a repo or selecting the repo and a writing and reading the packages should be good enough okay so let's generate token i'll copy it and this is this won't be of any use for you because i'll be revoking it all so for yourself go ahead and create your own token and then use it okay so let's go to the git bash again run the command and put the code again and you will see that this time it has successfully pushed in the code right so let's go back and go back to our repository we'll go to the github demo and you'll see the two files that were there on my local repository demo file.txt and git hyphen demo hyphen file.py has been committed successfully into the github hyphen demo repository right so this is basically what you need to do in order to push in the code from your local repository to the remote re github repository okay so that with the latest changes you have to make sure that you are basically creating the personal access tokens from your profile going to settings going to developer settings and then creating the personal access tokens right so you have to make sure when you generate the new token you select this repo and then create the token to basically you know i've also selected this write packages which is basically upload packages to github package registry download packages from Git, github packages registry so read and write as well so both of these uh, i'm not sure if this unchecking this one will still allow you to check in the code but with both these two settings it has allowed me to successfully check in the code to the remote repository okay if you want to read the details about these oauth scopes go to this particular link because this is the recent change so i haven't read in detail as well but in later tutorials i'll read it and explain any doubts if you have okay so that's pretty much all about how you can basically check in the code into the remote repository from your local repository and the advantage of this particular code is now that if somebody because this is the public repository you guys want to access this particular repository you can simply access this repository right go to this my username and then github hyphen demo and you will be able to get the code that is being pushed into this particular repository so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll push in the actual automation code that i have been writing for the selenium with python framework okay so you you guys have requested requested a lot of you and I'll take the second scenario to basically explain you how you can push in the project code into the remote. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.